Good morning, Gaudi. It was so lovely to see you yesterday. Um, the morning session was lovely and the afternoon. It was lovely to see you and to chat to you and play that lovely game as well as talk about all the snow experiences you've had. So thank you, Gaudi. It was lovely to see you all. Right, today's English lesson is, can I describe the features of instructional writing? Yesterday's lesson, Mrs. Gabella went through the text map with you. There we are. Okay, so in this session, you will need magnet eyes and your listening ears. Are you ready? Here we go. So, as we said earlier, you've started to learn the text map with Mrs. Gabella. Our text map is all about writing instructions, and this is how to brush your teeth in space. We're going to go through the features of instructions. There's all the things you need to write instructions, to write effective instructions. So first of all, you will need a title and our title is how to brush your teeth in space. Most instructions will be a how to, some aren't. So you will have a, have a title that explains what you are either making or doing. After that, you have an introductory paragraph and that's just a couple of sentences explaining in more detail what your instructions about if there's anything special that you need to know. Following this, you have another section and you will need. You will also find that there are bullet points and that it's like a list and it explains all the things you need and it might be labeled as ingredients. For example, if for this one in the text map, you're going to brush your teeth and you have equipment. You need a toothbrush, you need toothpaste, you need a tissue. And I can remember what the last one is. You need the equipment on how to brush your teeth. However, if you are going to make some jam donuts or chocolate chip cookies or pancakes, you would have ingredients and that will be labeled as ingredients. And it's all the things that you need. Right, after the list, there are steps that you follow in order. They can sometimes be numbered or use time sentence starters. It might also be labeled as a method. So in our text map, it's a steps to be taken on how to brush your teeth. If you were maybe have uh, had a set of instructions for cooking, it's usually called a method and it will be labeled as method. Top tip. In the last section, you have a top tip for carrying out your instructions. And that's, as we said before, it might be something that you need to do or something special just to make your following the instructions a little bit easier. Right, here are some examples of instructions that you might find. You may have a recipe and here you can make frozen berry and yogurt bark. Hmm, bark, I think they are bakes. Okay, so. Again, look, you've got your title, frozen berry and yogurt bark. You've got the ingredients, which is what you need. And the method is the steps. And here you can see they've been numbered in numerical order. So they're the steps that you will take in order. And your ingredient list, it's got bullet points. Again, how to play Go Fish. This is one of my favorites. I love playing Go Fish. It's really easy to follow and it's easy to remember, even for me. Um, and on this one, you've got your players, so that's what you need, your goal, what you're trying to achieve with the, with, the, with the game, and what you need, and there's your rules and your steps to follow. What have we got under here? Oh, who likes Lego? I think lots of children like Lego. Now, what do you notice about these instructions? That's right, there's no writing. There are no written explanations. But what you do have is you have numbered steps and it shows you with a picture of what you need to do and how you put the different parts together at the Lego. This one also has no written instructions, but it shows you the numbers. It shows you in number order what you need to do when you're making a chatterbox. Ah, oh, how to wash your hands. We have a title, how to wash your hands. And it gives you numbered steps, one, two, three. And this time you've even got pictures to go with each step. 
Ooh, who would like to make one of these? A dumper truck. How to make a dumper truck? You will need, look, we have our bullet pointed list, method, what you're going to do, and in numbered steps. How to make a bird feeder. We have a title, we have a picture of what it's going to look like, what you'll need, we have a bullet pointed list, method, the steps that we're going to take, and the numbered steps in order. And this, oh look, a science experiment. And it tells you what you're going to do. So this is bending water with static. What you will need, look, you have a bullet pointed list and instructions, and they are also numbered in order. Now, what we'd like you to do is your challenge is to find different types of instructions at home. You can look on your bookshelf, you can look where you keep your board games, you can search on the internet, you can go in your kitchen cupboard and I'll show you in a moment what I mean. Um, can you please upload the photos of all the things you found and record yourselves of what you found and the instructions and what they, what they are explaining, either what you're making or what you're doing. So let me show you what I found. Right, here we go. So I went into my kitchen cupboard and look what I found. I found a packet of cheese sauce and on the back, it explains how you're going to do it. So it says, this is your cheese sauce. This is what to just grab. So it's what you need. And look, they've got bullet points and it's the method on how to make the cheese sauce. So I found that in my kitchen cupboard. My daughter likes pasta, so guess what we've got? Lots of pasta sauce and on the back, there's a recipe, one recipe or two, it's one recipe, there you go, how to make chicken arrabbiata. And you've got your numbered steps, what you need to do, the title of what you're making, and oh look, it's a shopping list at the bottom, what you need to make your pasta sauce. Again, I found that in my kitchen cupboard. And guess who else likes baking? Yes, my daughter. I don't do baking very well, but here, so I've got, some flour and on the back it explains to you how to make a loaf of bread and you've got your numbered steps here and you've got pictures to go with it and it says step one step two step three and they're numbered in order after going into the kitchen i went into the games room we've got a big bookshelf with games and you've got this Lego pirant plank. And when I looked inside, guess what I found? All the Lego pieces. And I found, I found a book. And inside the book, it explained on how to play the game. So it was in German. I didn't think that would do very well for me. And I went to look for the ones in English and in here. It showed you how to set up the game. It showed you, it explained to you setting up the game in written words and on how to play the game on the other side. So here are some more instructions on how to play a game. Who likes arts and crafts? Here's one. Glitter bottles. And this also had instructions. I found, there we go, instructions. You've got the numbered instructions on the side and you've also got pictures on the other side to show you how to make the glitter bottles. So Gaudi, as you can see, you can find instructions all over, the, all around your house. Okay, so have a look in your kitchen, have a look on your bookshelf, have a look in if you've got games board games in your kitchen board games look on your bookshelf you might have an arts and crafts book you might have a recipe book or if you're making if your parents are making a piece of furniture there might be instructions in there so you don't need to write anything down for this lesson all you need to show is the different types of instructions you have at home and we look forward to seeing them right gaudi see you tomorrow <laughs>